Hello friends. So today I am back with another topic, and this topic it is called as IIH. That is idiopathic intracranial hypertension. Now it looks very you know confusing topic, but just to tell you in brief, this is a condition where people have just headaches and no other symptom, but many of them if they are not treated they can lose their eyesight, and as you can imagine. eyes and the vision are the most important you know functions that we have to lead a normal life without eyesight what can we do nothing so what is this condition where people have headaches but there is a threat to the vision loss and why does it happen so as the name suggests idiopathic means the exact cause is not known intracranial so inside the brain the pressure is high and that as you can know that our optic nerve that is the vision nerve it's a direct extension of the brain so there is increased pressure on the optic nerves of vision ner nerves and that over a period of time it causes the nerves to dysfunction and then the visual loss occurs unfortunately the vision loss is painless people don't have any pain so many times they ignore the headache saying that the headache may be due to tension may be due to migraine they don't see the doctor and then suddenly they start losing vision and then they come to us now when the vision loss has already occurred and then we start treatment we cannot get back that vision so that's the most important thing so what my message here is that it is a very simple message if the headache is say lasting for one day or two day of course you are free to take over the counter painkillers analgesics and then try to relieve your headache but if you are having repeated headaches like say you know every now and then headaches are coming in a week two three times or you know for no reason like many times people say okay because i may be under stress i may not have slept so of course if they are if they are you know if you haven't slept adequately or there is too much stress one can get headaches but if there are no obvious reasons and still you get repeated headaches don't ignore that headaches consult a neurologist because again by doing simple examination of the eye what is called fundus examination we can pick up the swelling and that is the marker of increased intracranial pressure and that can give us a clue that it could be a case of idiopathic intracranial hypertension and again very simple medications can bring down the pressure and preserve the eyesight so that is the first message i would like to give here and then uh, you know don't don't think that it will go away and then and sometimes the patients may have uh, just visual loss for few seconds transient so you are just doing normal things and suddenly for some time few fraction of seconds or few minutes the vision uh, is affected and then the vision comes back again uh, you may think okay fine anyway i'm totally normal why should i see a doctor but this could be a warning that pressure is building up and that's a time you can see the doctor sometimes other symptoms like double vision may occur sometimes tinnitus that is sound in the ear may occur so these additional symptoms are not very common but along with the headache these symptoms also can occur in this condition so in in summary anyone who has repeated headaches over say few weeks or few months or even longer for which there is no obvious cause of course it can be a migraine but still don't assume that it is migraine even if it is migraine it needs treatment there are good medications to treat that also so at least get the doctor evaluate you make sure there is no swelling inside the eye on the optic nerve and if it is there we can uh, further test may be required like brain scanning to rule out other causes of uh, raised atrial pressure and then if it if the brain scan is normal we do a lumbar puncture csf to measure the exact pressure and depending on the pressure we start treatment in most cases the medications are enough and this condition is more common in those who are overweight or obese so weight reduction of say just one or two or few kgs can go a long way and can help people with this condition reduce the pressure but of course you know weight reduction is one of the treatments in most cases medications also will be given so it's a combination of lifestyle modification with medications and a small percentage of people they may not respond to weight loss as well as medications so for them there is something called as shunt surgery where the pressure the csf is diverted and then the pressure reduces so that need for surgery is there only in medically refractory cases not all cases but the thing here is that it is a treatable cause so the raised intracranial pressure we can treat and prevent blindness but if left untreated it can lead to blindness which is not disabled by any by any person or for any person so in summary if there is headache for which there is no obvious cause consult a neurologist and then make sure that it is not iih and if it is iih proper treatment can you know cure this condition 
and uh, prevent blindness. So I hope you learned something new from this topic and thank you.